this question, I just use the gradient to think about the relationship between the, how far we go along and how far we go up. And the main gradient we can look at is of this blue line here. If I go along 16, then we go up 8. Okay, which means we go up half the amount that we go along. Hence, this uh, side, the shorter side of the trapezium, must be 1.5. Uh, this side here, if I'm going along 8, I'm going to have that. It's going to be 4. So now I've got my area of my trapezium is going to be a half. 1.5 plus 4, you add the two parallel sides and divide by 2. And then times by the perpendicular height, which is going to be 5. So that's going to be a half times 5.5, which is 11 over 2, times 5, which gives 55 over 4. And the answer is they didn't use the gradient, they used similar triangles in it. You know, it's just as good. Um, so we could call this P, and then it would be P over 3. And then this one, Q. Q over, now I'm talking about um, the, this is my, this is my similar triangle that I'm comparing. So Q over 8. And then the biggest similar triangle in highlighted in blue, which is going to be um, 8 over 16. And from that, you can, you know, you can work out that P, so this is going to be a half, therefore P is 5 and Q is 4. Seems, seems unnecessary to do all this, I think, gradient better, but it is an alternative approach.